Miami's first game is going down in just a few days, and you know what that means. Well, it means a lot of things, but one of them is a new turnover chain. Coach, Coop, Coach, Coop, Coach, Coop, the Coach Coop Show. Coach, Coop, Coach, Coop, Coach, Coop, the Coach Coop Show. What's going on Canes fans? Now before we dive into this video, I want to take a moment to say thank you to everyone who has purchased the Coach Coop merch. Yes, it is live and up for sale. You can click the top link in the description to check out the designs and see if any of them tickle your fancy and maybe you want to purchase one. If I had to make a recommendation, my personal favorite, now I just grabbed this out of the hamper so it's super wrinkly. Now this is my personal one. It would be the five and counting design. Uh, this is the five and counting drip tee. This actually symbolizes uh, the Miami Hurricanes five national championships and the dot, dot, dot lets everyone know that there's more to come. So let's just jump right into it. There's no reason for me to spend five minutes in this video explaining or describing the turnover chain. You already know what it is, whether you're a Miami Hurricanes fan or fan of an opposing team. It made its first appearance in the 2017 season and there's been a new design every year since then. We've had the U logo, the Sebastian emblem, and last year was the 305 design. In this video, I want to talk about what I think the design will be for the 2020 season, and I want to see your guesses down in the comment section as well. I'll try to put up some kind of little graphic image on the screen to uh, help it make sense, but it, it's probably going to make it look really bad, so that might not be a good idea. We might just discuss it and talk about it. But for the first design, I think it's time that we get a swagger turnover chain. And I, I mean quite literally, the chain will say swagger. The new Miami phrase didn't really stick after the 6 and 7 season, obviously. So I, I think that it would be cool to bring back a word that defined us in our past, in some of our better years. When many people think Miami Hurricanes, swagger is still one of the first words that comes to mind. I think that it could be similar to the 305 chain, except the U logo gets replaced maybe with something like a palm tree. And then of course the swagger would be open in the middle, kind of like the 305 is, so they can fill it full of diamonds, right? My second guess goes back to the original U logo, but changing it up just slightly. The original turnover chain takes us back to when it all started. When thinking of that chain, it triggers mostly good memories from the 2017 season. But maybe just implement a simple change like adding the word the above the U logo. That way it reads, the U. That way it's not the exact same. My last realistic guess for the new turnover chain for the 2020 season is going to be the hurricane warning flags. That would take us way back and would be a totally different direction with the design. It's something that we don't see used very often anymore. And lastly, my wish list idea for the turnover chain would be the five and counting tally marks with the dot, dot, dot after it. They could incorporate some orange and some white and some green, and it could look really dope. And again, we know what it signifies, right? The five national championships and counting because there's more to come. But uh, again, that's not realistically going to happen. Let's just be honest here. The first three that I mentioned were my guesses, what I think could actually happen and what it might be in the 2020 season. That last one, the five and counting, is just kind of a wish list thing that'd be pretty cool to see. Now, don't worry, I haven't forgotten about the touchdown rings. I know up until this point, I haven't even mentioned them, but I'm gonna make a couple of guesses to wrap up the video for that as well. But I do have one more thing that I wanna say about the turnover chain. I see so many Canes fans who say, retire the chain. Let's focus on winning football games. Get rid of the bling. I'm going to be straight up and honest with you. For the most part, I actually agree with that statement. I do think that it's about time that we get back to focusing on winning football games and just playing football. But I also want to let you know that I don't think it's going anywhere 
anytime soon. And the reason being is that it's too big of a recruiting tool. Just take a look at any of the pictures from recruiting visits or some of these guys that we signed in the 2020 class. What 17 or 18 year old doesn't want to come down to South Florida and throw on a $100,000 chain? Heck, when you look at some of them in their pictures, they're rocking all three. That's what, $250,000, $300,000 hanging on their neck with the big Cuban links? Of course they dig it. As long as recruits keep eating it up, I can promise you that it's here to stay. So moving on to the touchdown rings, this one is a little bit tougher um, because, I mean, it's rings instead of a chain. I don't know really what they can do with the letters on the spacing. Like, does it have to be four or five letters on each one? Can they space it out? Could they even maybe put symbols? I don't know. So here's my guesses for the touchdown rings. I think that one set could be 305 on one ring and Dade on the other. I feel like that one's pretty self-explanatory. And my last guess would be maybe two words that sum up what this offense is all about. I think that it would be important that we let Rhett Lashley make the decision on this since it is his offense. It is the touchdown rings after all. Uh, but as an example, I think maybe something like speed and tempo would be good examples. But as I said, let me know your guesses down in the comment section below. And it's okay. You can, you can say that you don't want to guess because you don't want there to be a turnover chain anymore. You think the touchdown rings are dumb. That It's okay to have that opinion and it's okay to disagree. As I said, for the most part, I kind of agree with you at this point, but I think they're here to stay for a good while. So if you feel like guessing, make it known down in the comment section below. That way we can look back and you can say that you got it right. And one last favor I would like to ask from my Canes fam as we wrap up this video. We are 20 subscribers away from hitting 13,000 on this channel. I set a goal a month ago that we would try to hit 13K by the time the Miami UAB game kicks off. And literally, as I just said, 20 subscribers away. You guys have been super helpful. I've been seeing you share the videos and, and mention the channel on social media. Tell your neighbor, tell your grandma, tell your sister, your cousin, your aunt, your uncle, your cat, if he or she has an account, I would really appreciate it. Let's see who gets that 13,000 subscriber spot. I really appreciate all the love, guys. I have really big plans for the 2020 season. I've had a really rough time uh, medically. I've been kind of having some issues with being sick on and off, and it's been a tough couple of months, but I still want to make this the best season yet on this channel, and I'm going to continue to work hard to make that happen. So, uh, coming up very soon, we're going to have the Miami versus UAB preview video as we do with my score prediction. Uh, we will be bringing back the live streams the night before the game happens. Those will happen at 9 p.m. Eastern time. So what we do is we take calls. I take your score predictions. We talk about uh, the game, everything that we think will happen, and uh, kind of just chit-chat and have some fun the night before. And then, of course, also what we're known for here on this channel is going live during the game. I'll have links for you guys so you can stream it. It's going to be on ACC Network, so just a heads up, if you don't have it, I can hook you up with a free link to stream the game. won't cost you a thing. All you have to do is stop, stop by the live stream here on the Coach Coop YouTube channel, and I'll hook you up. Remember, though, guys, we're all one big happy college football family, but at the end of the day, I got to say, it's always better when you get to rep the U. Coach Coop, peace out.